Hey, what's going on guys? I want to introduce to you a feature that uh, Infusionsoft has been working on for a while now um, and that you should have access to in the in the short term future. So um, here's what I'm talking about. Uh, it's it's They call it liquid content, which doesn't mean a whole lot to me. It probably doesn't mean a whole lot to you. Uh, but effectively, what we are talking about is conditional content for our emails. So um, this is a feature that a lot of people have been asking for over the years. Um, if you have an email that's going out to a group of people, um, and you want to add a section of it, but you only want that section of the email to show up for people who are your members or people who are not members, right? Maybe you want to have a promotion, right? This is a feature that allows you to do exactly that. Uh, you can build one email and send it to an audience, but have different sections populate or not populate um, based on what you know about the context in your database. So that is where we're going here. Uh, feel free to stick around and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so in the past, if you wanted to send a broadcast out um, and you wanted different sections of your audience to get different messages, you would actually have to send different broadcasts. So you would uh, you know, click Start Broadcast, you'd send the first one uh, to the first section of your audience, and then you would uh, come back in and choose Previously Sent and uh, choose the template that you used for the first one, make the changes you wanted, and send it to the second audience, and then rinse and repeat for as many sections as you needed to send out. Obviously, this is um, monotonous, but also manual and, and can be uh, ripe with opportunities to make a mistake or to uh, have your sections overlap or, or what have you. Uh, and then if you wanted to use a campaign to do that, you would have to build a decision diamond, uh, which would mean that you would have to um, duplicate the sequence a number of times once for each group and make sure that you had your rules dialed in. Uh, to route everyone to the, the the right sequence and make sure that they got the right messaging. Now, um, obviously, uh, the reason for this video is because you no longer need to do those things. So uh, Infusionsoft has introduced what is called dynamic content. Um, so it's, it's or liquid content. Um, you can see the liquid uh, icon right here. I believe this is a third party uh, code system or, or syntax uh, that Infusionsoft is adopting uh, to give us access to. Now, um, the interface here looks pretty basic um, and I have found that, the, that it's not all that intuitive. So I point all that out because what you are seeing is a very early preview of where this is going. Um, and I fully expect that they will either improve this interface or uh, give us just a completely different way of accessing what this makes possible. But uh, here is where it stands today. Um, so you come to this dynamic content section uh, and you choose what you want to insert. So whether it's information based around the contact or the user or uh, the profile or the current date or time. So let's use the contact, for example. Um, and then you can choose what you want to use as the criteria. So uh, like the contact's phone number or, um, you know, their, their city or their state or some, you know, information about them. Uh, I'm going to choose tag names here. So you do have access to tag IDs and tag names. And then you choose your modifier. So whether you want it to be, uh, you know, comma separated or, or uh, HTML bullets, I actually don't know what this does, the, what the modifier does. Um, what I did was I clicked use conditionals. There we go. Um, and then we get to build a sentence or a logic statement similar to how we use the uh, decision diamond to build rules. So if the uh, contacts, uh, you know, tag name contains... And then I could do OG member, right? Um, and then you can say else or else if and continue that sentence. And I'll say else. Uh, so that'll give me two options um, where it either contains OG member or it does not. And I believe else if would give us, uh, you know, the option to do further um, exceptions. So we click insert. And what it does is it takes this and it translates it into the liquid syntax and gives us sort of the, the code, right? So you can see there are two content placeholders. If the contacts, tags, titles, contains OG member, they get this section of content. So thanks for being an OG member. And if the contacts, tags, titles, contains uh, OG member or else, right? So this is the alternative. It'll, con it'll get this one. Uh, you should check out the OG membership. And 
I don't believe I can do a link here, but what you are building is just really placeholder content that you will then copy and paste into your email. So I'll go ahead and copy that. Um, but before you leave this screen, if you have any you know questions about what you have built, there is a test function down here. Um, and this is a little counterintuitive, um, but it allows you to search for a contact um, and then test whether or not, uh, or which variation they would get, right? So let's do Greg Jenkins. And I know I have a bunch of contacts here, so this won't do us a whole lot of good, but when you click test, uh, this one didn't, or what wasn't an OG member. So you should check out the OG membership. Perfect, great. Uh, let's do another test. This time I'll use my friend Mark Penny. Um, who I happen to know is an OG member. Uh, so his should say, thanks for being an OG member. Uh, so there you have it. Those are the two, and I actually didn't have a period on that sentence. So uh, those are the two outcomes, and one or the other will be displayed. So I'm going to copy that and then jump into my broadcast. Um, so once you have built the logic statement and copied that content, the rest of it is pretty straightforward. You just go to the email builder, whether it's a broadcast or a campaign, um, and you paste it in just like you would. Now you can see it's got those placeholders um, and those, I don't mess with them. I wouldn't recommend touching them. Obviously, uh, the way that we have, you know, uh, merge, merge syntax and you don't want to mess with that, uh, liquid content needs those parameters to tell it that, hey, this is not a normal sentence. Um, we're doing some complex logic here. So it's going to display either, thanks for being an OG member, or you should check out the OG membership. And then, you know, once you get into the email builder itself, you can further adjust that text or you can make one section a link um, and, and insert that there. Okay, so that is it as far as um, building it out into the email. Let's pop back over to the dynamic content tab um, and reset this a little bit. So, um, I, like I said, I haven't used all of the features in here. I've really only been playing with it. So I believe this is sort of just a staging area um, for setting up the code uh, that you're eventually going to use. I think long term they will, well, I think short term they'll improve this interface. And then I think long term they'll probably give us like an option to directly merge this in the way you can details about the contact or about the owner or about the date, right? So I think we'll, we'll get um, an easier uh, vehicle for, for using this. But for the meantime, uh, let's have a look here. So um, I know that I chose um, tag names. And as I'm looking at these uh, conditionals, if and else and use modifiers, uh, I don't see where the modifiers would be useful for the tag names. Uh, but I, I started thinking Zapier has a formatter tool that uses some of these. Uh, some, of the, some of this language looks familiar to me. So, um, for example, um, if we had first name uh, in their contact first name field, uh, we could default it to uh, capitalize, right? If you don't know if people are entering their name in all capitals or all lowercase or proper casing it, uh, well, you could capitalize it here. So we got, you know, first name, cap so, and then when you do insert, it gives you the merge field for that, contact.firstname, capitalize. So now I can start using this uh, in my emails instead of the contact first name, and I know that it's going to proper case that person's name. So that's one example here. Uh, again, you can also, it looks like, um, strip HTML, turn text into HTML, uh, URL encode, uh, prepend or append. Like, they're just, uh, there's just a lot of opportunity and flexibility here. Um, I honestly haven't wrapped my head around all of this. I'm just excited by what is coming. Okay, so like I said, I think there's still a fair amount of work to be done here uh, to make this as usable as possible. But the bottom line is, um, this is a, a highly requested feature, one that I've been after for a long time here, uh, and we're getting closer. Uh, I have been playing with it in my own app, and uh, functionally, I'm pleased, but uh, from a user experience perspective, um, I hope they can, they can get that a little bit more polished, a little bit more digestible, uh, so that we can easily access this from any of the email builders throughout the app. So hopefully, Liquid Content uh, is as exciting to you as it was to me. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, take care, guys. See ya.